So we're back with another video and I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about what I did this weekend. So this weekend, I went and filmed with Angela and Valencia for Angie, Vivi, and me. So we were doing some crazy cool stuff there and we did food, we did cooking and crafts and a bunch of different stuff. And then at the end we got a reward. And so the first thing we did, what I did was the pot of gold craft. It's just, if you guys want to make it at home, it's sequins, like, like uh, you can buy these from like the dollar store in a big huge pack of just like peel off stickers. There's like backing on it. And then we have job or just normal like white glue. I know you can get all of this stuff at the dollar store pretty much. And then we have um, just more sequins and felt. And um, it's actually a pocket and I stored my second craft in it. My second craft is a little friendship slash cute little bracelet. All you need is colored crafting string, beads, and that's pretty much it. You don't really need to do a lot for this one. Um, just buy, yeah, again, like everything can come from the dollar store, any store pretty much. Like this is pretty cheap stuff that we use. Um, and it's affordable. You could probably just have it laying around the house if you ever bought like one of those bracelet kits or anything. And um, yeah, I made a little bracelet. Has an L on it, a heart, and I tried to go simple. I only use like four beads. So since I worked super hard on um, Angie, Vivi, and me, I got paid. I got a little bucket full of candy and a ten dollar gift card to Chick Fil A. Thank you so much, Angela and Valencia. This is another thing that I did on Angie, Vivi, and me. I didn't really do it. I watched them do it. But they made some cool Jello monster slime. Um, we were basically, they were making like Jello monsters. They used banana pudding Jello, the Jello play stuff. They used um, fruit, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need. And they used some sprinkles too. So I'm going to be making some of this edible Jello play slime. So the first things first, you're going to need a bowl or something to mix in, something to mix with, water, warm water, and jello play. Um, what I'm going to do is take the scooper that comes with the jello play and take one, make sure all of that is out. and a half cups of powder and level it down. Then we're gonna use the scooper again, which this is very handy, this, this little scooper. We take the scooper again, half way full, I'm doing some last mixes right now. So now all I have to do is add a tablespoon, which is a quarter cup of water before play. No, that much water before play. Now I just mix it up with my hands, they say. Oh, wow. Yep, that's oobleck, all right. They call it slime, but now the way you guys, they made it over there, you, uh, Angie, Vivi, and me, they put it in vanilla pudding. Uh-huh. I'm going to take it They said it was really yummy. With my hand. Looks pretty cool. Whoa. It's so, <laughs> it's so liquid. It's so slimy. It's going to end with, this is obviously, you guys can already tell, since this is supposed to be an edible fun slime craft, I'm going to try it.
Okay. okay yeah. So I'll see you in a minute. Let's see how it tastes. I'll see you in a minute. I'll try it. <laughs> it's so tickly. <laughs> okay, here we go. What? Okay. Wow. And it like, look, okay, so I'm going to put it back in the bowl. I want to show you something that Ublak does. Ready? Yeah, because it solidifies and then it liquefies. Okay, here we go. It's so weird. So it's basically, it looks like liquid, right? Right. Okay, watch this. I used to do this all the time. Here we go. See how I can punch it and it's solid, right? Pretty much. Now... So weird. And it turns right back into liquid. It's sort of like, look at this, ready? I want to show you how it turns into liquid. So you take it out of a bowl. And do you know why this happens, Mommy? Tell me. Okay, so the reason this happens is because of the sodium citrate borate in the um, cornstarch. And the cornstarch, obviously, is made for cooking, crafting, and more. But it's mainly made for cleaning, right? Mm -hmm. Well, cornstarch has sodium citrate to take water out of tubs, baths, anything to keep the rust away, right, Mommy? Yes, ma'am. Well, if you take sodium citrate mix it with flour, you take cornstarch, put it in a tub, what does it do? It turns the water into a solid, right? Yes. And once the water is a solid, the water turns into rust, obviously, right? Yes. And it pulls the rust off the walls. So since sodium citrate borate is in cornstarch and it mixes with water, it's turning into a solid, but what's the reason that it's turning it back into a liquid? Do you know? Tell me. Body temperature. Body temperature is the key. Normally in bathtubs, it gets freezing cold, the metal does once there's water all over it. You know how water gets super cold after a while, right? Mm -hmm. So if you take water and put it in a tub, it gets warm, right? As long as your body heat is in it. Mm -hmm. But when you put cornstarch on water, when you're trying to take it off the bathtub and get the rust off, do you touch the cornstarch after you put it on the rust? No. No. So if you touch the cornstarch... That means that your body heat, right, that makes the water warm. Did, didn't I tell you that? Your body heat makes the water warm, right? When you're in the water, right? Okay. Yeah. So, if you touch the cornstarch, basically you don't touch the cornstarch when you're touching the water. But when if you touch the cornstarch, since the body heat is making the water warmer, it isn't warm when you put the cornstarch on it. Therefore, your hands turn it back into a, salt, a liquid. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. And it's edible. Stick that in your mouth. This? Lick it. This is all of it. Just lick it. Lick. Lick it? Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm.